G'day, good afternoon, good morning, whenever this reaches you. This is Matthew Robert Payne. Uh, Jeff, this is for Jeff Jansen. Um, I think it's Jansen, not Jensen. I got your name initially from uh, from Matt Sorger. Uh, Matt Sorger, how have you pronounced that? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. He had a, a teaching called Prophetic Insights for 2010 by Matt Sorger. A lot, oftentimes, I read prophetic words by uh, some so-called major people and I find a lot of error in their prophetic words over the next year and uh, this Matt Sorger seemed like he really knew his stuff, he certainly did a lot of signs and wonders that were amazing. So when I saw that on his website I flicked through to read it and I was very impressed that I'd been told most of this by the Lord myself and so I knew I was under something great. and then. Um, the Lord had told me a week ago to prophesy over some major people in ministry and um, I had a trouble finding major people in ministry and thinking of them. Then I saw this list of about 20 odd um, people, um, 30 people on, on this message, Prophetic Insights by Matt Sorter. And you were one of the names that I thought I could pronounce, so I put you on the list and this is where you're up to. So. This is a minute and a half into this, and so that's the introduction. Um, the first image I get in this prophetic word for you is that of a, 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 that of a, a male lion. And uh, this lion is uh, the leader of the pack. Uh, he's got a couple of battle scars. Uh, he's got a couple of rips on his face. and. Uh, you can tell uh, have been major scratches or bites and um, he's only been the leader of the pack about a year and uh, he's had a major scrap with the last leader of the pack and uh, he almost lost his life obviously um, what that tells me is that uh, you're in a position of leadership now in the ministry but you've just come through something pretty tough that almost was an account of your life. Uh, Satan uh, did something and caused something that uh, almost took you out of the ministry. Uh, but now you've overcome and Jesus uh, likes the overcomers. Uh, seven times in Revelation he said, Blessed are you people that overcome, for you shall and you shall and you shall. And there's seven beautiful promises to overcomers. And, the Lord wants you to know through that image that he knows it's been tough to get where you, where you are, but you're an overcomer. He's very impressed with you. The uh, second image I get is the image of a bear. And um, once again, a bear is a ferocious animal and you don't want to uh, mix with a bear. Now, this bear uh, is similar to a prophecy I got. This bear is fully submitted to the cross of Jesus Christ. So, although you wouldn't want to mess with a bear, the spiritual authorities that almost took you out uh, know that you're powerful and you're, you're, you're a person not to be mixed with. But they still mix with you from time to time and I have a scrap with you. But you're very confident and very dangerous for the Kingdom of God. Um, you can see bears in, in movies and stuff and they can be really friendly and lovable things when they're tame and you're certainly tame, you're not scary, you're only scary to Satan and his kingdom. So that's the second image. Now, um, it seems that uh, the Lord wants to switch over now from words of knowledge into words of wisdom, which means you've got six minutes to go in the ten minute um, prophetic word and um, means there's a lot of instruction. The Lord's put it on your heart before. Uh, Bill Johnson uh, is the next one on my list so it's funny that I'm talking about this but Bill, uh, Bill Johnson in his church as you know runs a school of ministry, a school for prophets and a school for supernatural people for, for a year. Um, You've often looked at that and thought it would be a great idea to do yourself uh, with some partners and ministry partners. The Lord says the reason you've looked at that is because he wants you to do it. He wants you to start an international school of ministry. He wants you to head that up with some key 
people that you know. I don't. I got no idea who you are, Jeff, and I got no idea who you do it with. But there are key people that you know that you pull into that. Now you may have even been drawing up the plans to do that. Uh, this is a total stranger prophesying over you, and I don't know you from anything. And so uh, this is just confirmation that the Lord wants you to move full steam ahead on that one. He's going to open the door, provide the finance, provide the students, and make everything happen. The second word of wisdom, we're 5 minutes 35, so still got 4.5 minutes. Um, the second word of wisdom is, He wants you to read the Old Testament about 30 times in the next couple of years. Just the Old Testament. Uh, certainly you can read the New Testament in, in your study time, but he wants you to read the Old Testament about 30 times. Now, um, that's no great task for you. Uh, it's 30 times is amazing. There's a lot of times to read it, but apparently you're a big uh, reader of the Word of God and there's something you could set your mind to. Once again, it's been something that you've been doing more regularly, uh, making a big study of the Old Testament. Um, there's many, many books that the Lord wants you to write and they're going to come from dedicated time in the presence of God and reading the Word of God. And uh, the Lord wants you not to teach other man's knowledge and not to be quoting other man's books. But when you write, He wants you to be able to write from knowledge that you know that you've read and he wants you to read 20 or 30 times the Old Testament books. Uh, certainly when you're writing a book uh, you'll be uh, expounding the Word of God in the Old Testament but as you expound it you can bring New Testament scriptures in to back up what you're saying. Okay so that's the second word of wisdom. The third word of wisdom is that um, this is uh, I've never had one like this, well I haven't had one like this in the 20 people I've prophesied over. He wants to take you to take a special woman in your life, whether that's your wife or your mother, I'm not sure which one, I think it is your wife if you're married. Um, he wants you to take her on a world trip. Yeah, and not just, um, not just to Australia here where I am and not just to Europe, but he wants you to take her all around the world. He wants you to get a round the world ticket and take her on a good three, six month holiday. Um, that's probably when you're going to read the Word of God 30 times uh, in your hotel room two hours a day or three hours a day. Um, he said that you've worked really hard to get where you are. You're not going to lose your ministry. And certainly when you start the school of ministry, you're going to be very busy in one location. He wants you to reward your wife and take her on a world trip. Now that's like another word of knowledge even though it's a word of wisdom because that's something that would make uh, well I'm totally off track I'm a false prophet if you haven't had a wife aren't I? So I'd have to be pretty confident. Uh, telling your wife you're going to go on a three month trip around the world all expenses paid uh, was something that bring tears to her eyes uh, when she sees the evidence and sees uh, this uh, prophetic word saying that the Lord told you to do it, uh, she'll be a happy little camper, hey? That's an Australian term, she'll be very happy. Okay, now the fourth word of wisdom, we've only got um, 40, uh, 40 minutes, not 40 minutes, whatever, 40 seconds to get the fourth one out. The fourth one out is, uh, well, one is the ministry center, two is read the Old Testament three times, 30 times, three is uh, take your wife around the world, and number four is uh, get more into praise and worship, more into the joy and the presence of the Lord. Learn to soak more, the Lord says. Uh, spend more time soaking. You're going to get a lot more out of the Word of God, and you're going to achieve more in the ministry center when you learn to soak. Okay? Uh, may God bless you. May God bless your family. May God teach you how to walk in the very steps of Jesus Christ. God bless you. See you later.